Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Blade and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, in the last episode, uh, I continued with my story and left Joff on a cliffhanger type of deal. Um, <laughs> but also, uh, I continued work on this house and also tried out concrete blocks, which uh, I didn't really like, uh, to be honest. I just don't like the pebble design inside there. Looks eh. Plus red concrete, I mean, maybe that's just a really bad color for that. To begin with, uh, maybe I should have went with white or gray or something, I don't know. But either way, I'm going to continue mining a little bit underneath the house. And uh, just try to get more and better resources. So let's do it. Um, and while I do this, I might as well continue with the story that I was telling you. Uh, so, where was I? Right. So, uh, me and then the dragon warrior which I then found out a little bit later as we were walking through the forest uh, his name was Flint if you recognize that name and uh, the, did I say Minotaur? so me Minotaur and Flint right uh, so we're walking through this forest and um, the Minotaur is kind of giving the giving Flint the eyeball like who the heck is this guy where did he come from this kind of weird that you went to go kill a dragon and now there's just some other guy tagging along but whatever I guess if it doesn't bother you I'm not gonna really let it bother me too much but it bothered him you could tell um but whatever you know I don't know this freaking minotaur he's giving me all these challenges which I don't even know is necessary you know he just freaking told me to go kill some dragon for some reason which was stupid there was like, at least the apple made sense, you know? But this other thing just, it didn't make any sense whatsoever. It's like he's trying to kill me, which I still think he was, but whatever. <laughs> so, uh, we finally come to a clearing in the forest. And then raised, kind of like, almost like a, a little hill, right? Is this stump that holds this sword. And this sword looks like almost really just any plain old sword you could get from a blacksmith uh, except that it glowed with this white mystical essence you know and uh it's just it's, it's a pretty boring sword to be honest it's kind of anticlimactic that's kind of like really okay <laughs> um and he told me he said go ahead the minotaur said he said go ahead and just take that sword out of that stump. And I'm like, is this going to be like a sword in the stone situation where only the worthy can can take it? And he goes, no. It's just, you know, take it out of the stump. And I'm like, that's it? And then I have the sword. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, that's pretty stupid. Okay. So I grab the sword and I make my wish. And not a god dang thing happened. And I was like, what the heck? Were the rumors about a magical sword all a lie? And he goes, no, uh, it's real. I mean, look at that stump. And I looked at it, and it's just a normal freaking stump. But I did notice it had a bunch of stab marks in it, as if the sword had been taken out and then stabbed back into the stump over and over again, which I thought was really weird. And he looks at me and he goes, that sword... And now he's got a British accent for some reason, but that sword there, he says, <laughs> with, with a really, I mean, it's just a thick accent at this point. You can hardly understand him. <laughs> but he's just like, that sword, you have to stab it into your own heart for the wish to be granted. Which, I mean, obviously uh, made all the more sense that nobody had used the sword yet if it was just completely defenseless out here. Because who's going to kill themselves to get a freaking wish that they can't even then use? And he goes, that there is the crux of the sword. Well, I thought to myself, if it's just a normal sword that has magical abilities that will only activate once you've stabbed it and basically killed yourself, and it's not something else in terms of magic then I could probably use the sword I know what you're thinking you're like what you're gonna kill yourself yes that was extremely painful because what I then did was I took the sword and I shoved it 
straight in my chest. Oh god. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, I don't even talk about it. Just the thought of how bad. You ever have your wisdom teeth yanked out, like without anesthesia, and you're like, "Wow, that's a pain I never want to experience again." Okay, it was worse than that. <laughs> it was horrible because first off, I didn't even get my heart like square where I thought, like I hit the side of it, and like I, I so I kind of slashed it in half, but it wasn't even like straight through it, and I cut. So I mean, I'm dying. But I just didn't do it quite right. So, it really sucked. But anyways, uh, so I'm like bleeding out. And the Minotaur is just like, what the frick? He actually did it. And then Flint's is kind of like staring at me. Not really surprised. Um, because he knew, right? He freaking, he knew. And then uh, I collapsed on the floor. And I died. And uh, that's pretty much how that happened. Um... <laughs> But I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, you're talking to us right now. How are you, how even, right? How are you even telling us this ridiculous story that has no bearing in reality whatsoever? There's no way any of this have actually happened. Which, I mean, psh, I can totally understand your skepticism. But, you know, you'd have to be there, okay? It's just one of those things. You'd have to be there to believe. Um, but, uh, you know, I woke up a few hours later. Uh, the ground that had been around my corpse uh, all just ashes at this point because you know I'm a phoenix uh, I lit into flames and turned into ash and then was reborn once more uh, but like I didn't die die because there's a difference between like temporary dying and then really dying because when you really die like you just completely get reborn but when you like die from something like that you just get reborn into what you were right before you died uh except weaker because it takes a lot of energy and so you know freaking i came back and the sword uh wasn't in my chest anymore thank goodness because if i had been reborn with that thing in my chest and died again that'd just be a never-ending loop that i mean there have been cases where that just happens to a phoenix and that's really unfortunate it's it takes you can actually die that way it takes up so much energy um but anyway, so, uh, you know, wake up, and the sword is burning hot. But not because of my death, but because the magic had then be, uh, been activated. And it's just, like, speaking to me telepathically. And it goes, you, brave one, who dared take its own life for this wish, what do you desire? And finally, out loud to everyone, so that even the Minotaur and Flint, they all knew what my wish would be. And I said to it, I said, Sword, this world will soon be destroyed. Not because of mankind's stupidity, although eventually that would do it, uh, but because of this dark force that not only took out my clan, but Flint's clan as well. And sadly, no matter how much we trained, and no matter how much we may hate the fact, we can't take it on by ourselves. We need to go someplace where the dark force can't reach us, where we will be safe, and where we can slowly amass a following that will help us take out this darkness. And the sword spoke and said, I know of one place. One place that might bide you some time for you to follow in what footsteps you're laying out for yourself. And it opened a portal. And I said, what is this? He goes, this portal will take you to a completely different world. A place much different than what you're used to. A world where magic is not the norm. Oh crap, I need a pickaxe. And in fact, uh, it's mankind with no magic, but much more advanced than what you're used to. But on the side, you will be able to practice all your abilities that your clan used to know. You know, the, the traditional arts of the Phoenix Clan and the Dragon Clan, of course, as well. And you guys will be able to amass this following that you so desire. And then, when their time has come, 
the portal will open uh, once more and bring you back and you will be able to fight off the darkness and I looked at Flint and asked him I said do you want to go on this epic journey with me and he just kind of smirked at me you know like Psh, you even gotta ask and the Minotaur was just kind of blown away he's still surprised in the corner like what the frick is happening and we stepped through we stepped through the portal wound up in some place called Alabama and ever since then uh, well we've been doing this crap so now you know now you know my backstory Flint Dragon Shield's backstory which by the way I'm really jealous of his name uh, because I mean Phoenix Ash Blade's okay but I mean you know Dragon Shield that just sounds cool I don't know anyways now you know my backstory you know my backstory and you know why I'm here to a massive following that will help me take on this darkness and reclaim my lost heritage Flint's lost heritage, uh, heritage and save the other world so now you know anyways <laughs> uh, time to now uh, I think I have enough stuff I think so wait is this gravel because or not the gravel I keep wanting to call it gravel um, granite I need more granite um, but I think this is enough maybe wait how much granite do I have actually not enough okay so I need to mine out a lot of granite but then um, once I get enough granite should be done with the floors Whew, that was a oh that was a big sneezing fit holy crap I'm gonna have to cut that out Oh, that that hurt a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Anyways, uh, granite. I need a lot of it um, for the floors, obviously. And uh, what do you think we should call this house of ours? You guys got any suggestions? Uh, I'm thinking we could call it like the Blade Manor. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good, Blade Manor. Or uh, we could call it. Um, the Blade Manor. That's another suggestion. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know. Leave down in the comments below what you think we should call it. Because um, honestly, I don't. I don't know. Um, oh, I got another suggestion actually. How about we call it the Phoenix Manor, huh? Or the Phoenix Blade Manor even, huh? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Um, so let's see now with. More granite. Am I, am I in the right? Yeah, no. Oh, that's the craft granite. Am I in the wrong thing? What the frick? Where is it? Am I going crazy? Did I pass it? Up oh, here it is. Okay. I mean, I might be going crazy, but mostly it was just I passed it. <laughs> okay. So did I say I wanted this for my bedroom? I can't remember. Let's let's just plonk it down. Why not? And then. At some point, replace this with marble because marble is the shiz. It's probably one of my favorite blocks. Um, oh, God dang. Really? I'm missing four blocks. <laughs> I think I have some in the chest. Um, it's pretty good. It's just a nice shiny white block in this texture pack. So it's pretty good. Uh, better than Andis or Diorite. That's for sure. Um, okay, hold on. Where... Wait, wait, is that right there? Bam! Aha! Excellent. Exactly the amount I needed for this. Cool. Okay. Um, and then we'll just have the living room flooring go right there. So now that I've got the kitchen and the bedroom done, and then I should probably work on the staircase. Um, what do I do for the just the normal floor? Birch, you think? Do you think birch wood would look okay I mean there's tons of it so I would like to use it um because <laughs> seriously I have so much of it or what if I hmm hold on let me let me toss some ideas around yeah that looks dumb right okay no so we're not gonna do that but what if I laid down the wood huh so I have this like checkered white look 
Make this. <laughs> it looks kind of like zebra print, you know? Like, check out my bachelor pad. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, eh, I don't know. <laughs> like, if I did it... Like, that's what it would look like. Oh, it gets this weird stripe to it, like right where it comes together. That's weird. Um, hmm. Nah. I don't know. Like, I'd have to literally place it everywhere to decide, I think, if I liked it. Because it. I don't know. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. But... It's just not... I think if it was everywhere, it'd look weird. You know? Maybe. Oh, what if I... What if I just do the surrounding... Um, yeah, what if I just do that? And also what happens if I flip it like this? Does that look weird? It does. Okay, so it'd have to all go the same direction. But what if I just do the border? You know? You think that? Yeah, that'd probably be weird too. Okay, um, hmm. <laughs> it's a lot, lot to think about. Because I only have so many blocks, you know? So many blocks to use as flooring and, and roofing and all that. Mm. And then I'd have to put it there. Uh, nah, let's just not do that. Let's just try birch planks instead. And hopefully that'll look okay. What do you guys think? I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking it's alright. I know some people don't actually like the color of birchwood. Um, but, you know, to those people, I say, that sucks for you. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Anyways. Oh, it's funny. Where are you? Oh, my God. Don't creep up on me like that, piggy. With your adorable little eyes. I'm going to call you Ruben. <laughs> because Minecraft story mode. Um, which I'm still really upset <laughs> that they, I mean, spoilers, in case you haven't watched that series yet, which I highly recommend you do, you know, I mean, pretty much pause this episode and go watch that. But, um, that, that was really sad that they killed off Ruben. I was like, what the frick? It just, you know... And I'm glad I'm not the only one who cried, like, because if I was the only one who cried in that episode, I would have been really upset. <laughs> like, am I just a sensitive little guy? It was just a piggy after all, but no, it was my best friend, and they just, they got rid of him, and it was completely out of left field. I was like, what the heck? Okay, I like this. It's looking pretty good. I think this was a good choice. I'm thinking so. Put that there and there. There and there. Cool. Alright, we'll almost have the floor done. <laughs> or we will have the floor done, I should say. Um, do I have any more birch in my inventory? I don't. I'm gonna have to go grab some. What the frick, cows? Stop invading my home! Ruben, no! Oh, it's freaking Minecraft story mode all over again. Um, but no, seriously though, uh,. I was already thinking this. I'll I'll get a pig and then get a name tag and then name a pig Reuben. But that pig, I mean, he could have wandered off anywhere. Could have accidentally got killed by me, which he did. I mean, it's just, you know. So we'll wait. We'll wait until we actually have a pin to put them in and then we'll uh, and then we'll name a pig Reuben. Is that really all the birch wood I had? I, I mean, I chopped down a lot of these trees. I thought I would have had a lot more. Do you guys see any? I don't see any. Alright, well. Oh, it's getting dark. Probably should sleep. I was gonna say. Also, I need food. I think I have some in the furnace. Oh, that scared me. I heard like a kshk. But then I also um, noticed that it wasn't instantly daytime, which made me nervous. No, that's iron. What? Oh, there's my cooked food right there. Okay, cool. Eat some of that. Put my iron in there. Now I got 10 pieces. That's pretty cool. Probably going to have to chop down a few more birch trees. And then also I'm going to have to find a savanna and bring back some of those saplings so I have access to that. 
and some oh pardon me some jungle uh saplings as well because i like having access to all the types of woods um it makes things way better than having to run off to a forest and getting some of that wow i actually have to chop down more birch trees this is surprising uh I haven't really been using the birch wood, have I, for anything? I don't think so. Anyways, let's clear out the trees in front of my house. That way, because uh, that's really where it's harder to to find stuff. Uh, is it in front? And then, oh, oh, also, I just got this idea. Okay, so from here, from the front of the house, so, okay, that's like the mine area, and they can have like a little, hold on, let me get over there. Okay, so... We'll have the little mine, and because there's a little water here, we can we can make a little uh, boat thing. I might have to widen that out a little bit to make it look better, but um, like a little either relaxation thing or a fishing dock or something. Um, so we'll have that, and then over here we can have a fountain, and then like a big old gate that goes around the the whole property, huh? Just like my other world <laughs> because I, I have a pattern in terms of like how I like to build things I like to have what's basically a fortress <laughs> because they're great um, but that's gonna require me to chop down a lot of trees oh boy okay well uh, I have enough birch wood right now uh, so I shouldn't okay there's apparently a zombie there also uh, it's important for me to chop down a lot of trees because uh, zombies can take shelter underneath these and I don't need that near here. So that's another great reason to do that. Um, and you know, we'll replant trees, you know, we'll, we'll not leave a carbon footprint, as they say. <laughs> um, okay, so this is going to be the stairway. So hold on. It's going to be three wide that and then yep I don't know how many like how high it's got to go um, oh crap actually I got to cut this back one because I want to I want a landing right here um, also I'm gonna have to take out these blocks also uh, what do I need for the siding of the stairs I guess dark dark wood would match everything else huh so I'll go grab some of that. And I'm also going to need to make stairs. Which means probably dark oak stairs. Or we could do spruce. Spruce stairs? Does it matter? I guess it don't really matter. Um, anyways, stairs, stairs, stairs. Here we go. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Is that enough? Uh, make a few more. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, oh. And also make some dark planks um and then switch crap around oh gosh okay hold on there we go sweet cow don't even think about it don't even think about it cow okay um is that gonna be why don't we go all the way we'll go all the way with this um that way whatever this height ends up being will just be the the roof height i guess Okay, so where's my stairs? Are they there? Okay, so then we'll go here, here, and then I need to plonk some down here. Yes, just like that. Excellent. <laughs> also, I'm gonna need some kind of landing, anyways, so it doesn't necessarily have to go that high. Um, that this will make it. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Whatever. I'm focusing. Yeah, see? Like, this is probably high enough. Yeah, that's probably high enough. And then, what do we have? We could just do this for the entire ceiling, you think? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know how that would look. Like, would it be too much? It would probably be too much. We could put that right there. There we go. Too much dark oak, you think? Maybe? Hmm. Hard saying at this point, um, but there's only one way to find out, and that's by doing it. Excellent. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, oh no, am I out? 
Okay, I just wait hold on, I need to put that in my inventory. There we go. Just enough. Okay. So this will be like where it turns. And it goes like that. Um, and then that's this the uh, wall, so I can't go that way. So okay, and then it'll just go bloop out that way. I don't know what I'll put up here. That's a lot of floor space. You know? Is it even necessary? Not really. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to need something else other than this. Because this is just a lot of the same color. But I don't know what to use. Because I can't do birch, can I? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know anymore, you guys. Let's just work on the walls for now. Because um, now I have my height that I need. But I'm also going to need a lot more dark oak. Um, but we'll get to work on that in the next episode. So I'll leave that off for now. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment down below on what you thought of this episode. And as always, remember to keep the flame alive.